Okay, so the thing with the wear brakes that a lot of people don't like to mess with it is the um, the fact that you have that electronic parking brake in the back, which is definitely understandable. Um, don't hold me to this, but I heard if you're changing the uh, wear brakes, you think I think they said that you have to reset the. Uh, I think you have to reset. Goddamn loud cars. <laughs> um, I think you have to reset the electronic parking brake. That's what I was told. I could be wrong, but that's 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 what I've been heard. That's what I heard around. That's the word that's around. I'm not I'm not sure. But this is not the first time I'm changing it. It's actually the second time I'm changing it since I've ever owned this car. And I haven't the first time I've changed it was because of an emergency issue that I had while we was out of the car meet. And I never changed it before then because of that same theory. You have to reset that electronic parking brake, which I'm not sure is entirely true because the first time I changed it, I never ran into any problems like that. And I think most of the times I never use my electronic parking brake anyway. So anyway, that's that. Um, biggest thing with this is it's, it's as easy as the front okay it is not difficult 14 millimeter you got two bolts on the back right you got you got this bolt here and you got this bolt here so i mean it's pretty self-explanatory get this one loose get the other loose Drops out. Bear me one second. My hands aren't moving as quick as, I'm, as my mouth. Is it, where is it? Where is it? And as you guys are seeing, yes, I am on. Megan Racing Coilovers. I have a. Oh, okay. I have an update coming up. I have a video with a fresh update coming up of what I've done to the car since then. So stay tuned to that. That is coming up. Because I've seen you guys looked at the last, the first one that I made, and it's still getting a lot of views. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that, guys. So you just. It's not coming off. You see, like it's. Because that same hydraulic thing that I said is hydraulic. <laughs> It's pushing on to it. Excuse my terminology, okay? So what you normally do, you're very two good friends, flathead screwdrivers. Oh. Try to keep my knee out the way. So what you do, you try to get it in there. And you just, Press it against it. One more time. Okay, so now you take the, you get in between on the rotor. If I can get in there. It's fighting me, it's fighting me. It's fighting me. All right, there you go. And it's off. With a vice, do not make these brake lines hang. Because then it's another problem. It's another problem we don't want to deal with. Let's just stack it up there. The smart thing to also do is if you have some zip ties, just to be on the safe side, you'll zip tie to the strut here so you know it's not going to hang. But I'm going to play it very safe. <laughs> You do you get your pads off pretty simple right and let me get my brake fluid move it 
there are all different types of uh bread lubricants that you can use um hold on, i'm trying for this not to run um the one that i picked up was from an autozone it's in the little packet you can use that That's pretty much how it comes off. Easy breezy, all right? Now the good thing about these are, this one comes with the accessories. So you gotta take these off. These guys, you gotta take them off. That's, that's the packaging that comes in with the brakes. Like I said, I went door last this time because I ain't got no patience. <laughs> just gonna take this bad boy and just, oh, this is the upper one. I'm tripping. I need to go change my gloves. I'll be right back. All right, now I got my surgical gloves on. <laughs> um, so, this, these clamps here, they come with the packaging like I showed. They snap in at the bottom here. You got one that snaps in at the bottom. And then you got the other that snaps right at the top. So there's the one for the bottom. Uh, there you go. The bottom. That's the one that snaps on the top. All right. After that, um, you take your brakes, brake pads to be specific. All right, you got your brake pads. Push them back in through the grooves. Let me start on this side. There you go. One. Take it aside. Okay. The other brake pad. <laughs> this one. I might block you guys for a second. This gets a little tricky here. There you go. Snap right back on. Now, now for the tricky part. This tricky part, I learned something while we had our last car meet in D.C. So you got these two bad boys here. So as you know, when you're trying to put this thing back on, normally it pushes itself back out. Because you know, of course, it's brand new, uh, it's brand new pads, so it's a lot thicker. So normally, I would pry on it. That's actually easy than I, easier than I thought it would have went. But um, in a worst case scenario, which I was, is what I was in. Um, if that piece pushes all the way out, you can get two small, <coughs> get two of these bad boys right here, two slimmer ones or two thick flat heads. Like I said, they could be shorter. And you could just keep prying it all the way back. Or you can, once you pry it all the way back, you could get these on the inside. Press it in, opens up, goes back on, bolts up, and that's how you change your front and your rear brakes for your 2011, I think, to 2013 BH Genesis. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, miles per gallon. I'm tripping. It's miles per gallon, not miles per gallon.
Peace out, folks.